At Pasa Temple, Mackenzie used the barranca to its fullest. The ingenious part of the routing at Pasa Temple was the way in which Hunter used the back nine and the barrancas. For people not familiar with the barrancas, it's a, in the case of Pasa Temple, a canyon. Mackenzie uses the, the barranca twice on the tent hole as it cross hazard naturally on the tee shot and then he incorporates grass and bunkers in a barranca parallel to the fairway and approaching the green. You go on to the 11th hole, a lot of people don't know this, but when you stand on the tee and you see the green in the distance, there's almost 100 feet of elevation change from the tee to the green. The way that he used the barranca on the 11th hole, he bisects the fairway. On the 12th hole, you're playing back downhill with a short par four, and the barranca is right in front of the green. It's a very natural looking hazard. You can find your ball, you can play out of it. You turn around, you play the 13th hole back up the hill, play parallel to the barranca, and then on the second shot, Mackenzie creates these hazards, these bunkers, these very beautiful bunkers coming from left to right that are shaped and what they are is an extension of that barranca, so you're playing over that to a very uh, contoured green. On the 14th hole, again, the barranca comes into play. It's running parallel to the hole, but a section of the barranca comes up through and in between the 14th fairway, and he now mows the fairway through the barranca. It's a very cool architectural feature that you wouldn't see on any other golf course. Go to the 15th hole, the par three, play slightly downhill. Now you're playing over a barranca. You turn around and play the 16th hole, one of Mackenzie's favorite holes. You're hitting a shot over a barranca to a crowned fairway with no green in sight. And then on the second shot, you're playing across a barranca again to the biggest green at Pasa Temple, the 16th hole, three tier, one of the most famous greens in golf. Then you go to the 17th hole. The barranca is not in play, only on the back side of the green. And then the final hole, the 18th, one of the most difficult shots in golf, one shot or par three, 18th hole. You're playing over the final barranca to a very contoured green. And that's the finish of your back nine. Unbelievable use of the barranca, unbelievable use of natural features, and one of the most splendid walks that I've ever seen on a McKenzie course.